Hi folks, I hope you had a nice weekend. Today I want to talk more about the Sony firmware strategy because the head of imaging had a chat with Lensuite. I will link to the video in the description below and he mainly shared two important info. First of all, he confirmed that the headquarters in Tokyo from Sony got the message that they have to change strategy on their firmware roadmaps. You know, Sony um, doesn't add new features on a very expensive cameras, software features that are available on uh, low-end cameras and uh, they got the message, so something will happen. And uh, he didn't go in any detail about this. The second info is that the Sony A1 and the A7S III will get creators app support between now and spring 2024. He also said other cameras will also get app support, but he didn't want to share any details about exactly when, but within the next uh, six months, everything, uh, every camera from Sony should be able to be connected on the creator's app. And uh, of course, like I told you last week, there will be a major, likely a major A1 firmware update between October and November. And I don't expect major to mean that we will only get creators app support. I definitely expect some new features to be implemented on day one. Hopefully this will also happen for the A7S III. We have some new images, leaked images of the Viltrox 20mm 2.8 autofocus full frame lens that will be announced on October the 6th. You can see the images here. The specs are also known. The lens costs around 100 something dollars. So it's a very affordable lens. And a final reminder that on October the 5th we will get two new lenses from Sigma, the 70 200mm 2.8 full frame autofocus lens for E-mount and the 10 to 18 millimeter 2.8 APC e-mount lens. So that was it for today. See you soon, folks.